Hi, my name is Sean Connery. You've seen me in such fine quality chemistry educational videos as Live and Let Base Determinant and Cry Havoc and Let Loose the PH. All right, we're going to be looking at KSP. This is my third video, final video dealing with KSP. But this one, the, this is the KSP, this is going to be based off of pH, whereas the other video, I had it where they gave you the, mol, the molar solubility, and then another video which you were looking at grams per liter or grams per 100 milliliters. So if you need to know about those, you're going to have to look those up because I'm only going to work with the pH. So. In this case here, we have a saturated solution of MgOH2 is prepared. The pH of the solution is 12.00. That's a bit basey now, isn't it? What is the KSP for this compound? Okay. Well, the first thing we got to look at is we're going to be dealing with concentration. Remember, KSP deals with the solubility product, the equilibrium of the solubility product or the solubility product constant, which is the concentration of the product over the concentration of the reactants. Now, let's look at the equation here. So what we have here MgOH2, and it breaks off. Remember, it's going back and forth, okay, into Mg. 2 plus and 2 OH minus. So that's what it's going to look like. Now in this case here, it happens to be a solid and this is aqueous. Okay, now remember aqueous has to do with it's in solution. It's not a pure liquid, but it's mixed in there as part of the solution. Okay, I wouldn't drink that if I were you. Okay. Now, we also know, if we look at that, that that means that our KSP expression, our KSP, what is that formula going to look like? Well, our KSP is going to look like this. The concentration of the Mg2 plus multiplied by two times the concentration of the OH to the second power. That's right. Don't forget that second power. That's way too easy to mess this up. Now. That's great, but we don't have the concentrations, but we do have the pH. And from there, we can figure it. Remember, pH is the power of hydrogen. How much hydrogen that there is, okay? The higher the pH, the less hydrogen you have, which means you have more OH. But we need to figure out the pOH first, which is the power of hydroxide ion. That's what pOH stands for giving you guys a little bit of a review here. So what does that look like? Well, remember, if you look at pH plus pOH, that's going to equal 14. Okay? So if that's the case, then we can turn on, say, 14 minus the pH, which is 12.0, okay, is going to get us a 2.0, which is equal to pOH. So our pOH is going to be 2. Oh, that's some base. Right. It is. It is, in fact, some base. Uh, that's there. OK. So now, once we figured that, now we need to take the inverse log. Remember when you take the pH or the pOH, you would take the negative log of the concentration of your ions. We have to go backwards this time. We have to take the inverse log of our pOH to get our concentration of the OH. Well, why not the pH? Well, remember, look what you got here in your equation. It's OH, which means it's basic. So we have to get the OH. Okay. So with that, the concentration, we're going to move on here. The, so we're looking at the concentration of the OH minus is going to be equal to 10 to the negative pOH. Okay? The inverse log is 10 to the negative pOH. That's important that you put that negative in there. Okay? Which is going to equal uh, 10 whew, to the negative 2, which is going to get us. 0 0.01 molar. So that's what we have. We point 0 0.01 molar. Huh. Okay. Go figure that one out. 
Okay. Now, since it is the OH, now that gave us the concentration of the OH, right? That does not give us the concentration of the MG. Now, the MG is going to have to be halved in order to do this the right way. Okay? It's going to have to be halved to do this the right way. So, let's look at it. So, let's see. What is half of 0.01? Oh, hey, it's 0 0.005. So, we're going to look at it and say, okay, that's going to be 0 0.005. Five. Now remember it's in molar, okay, and we don't need to square it or anything like that because there's only one, okay, and we're going to have to multiply it by, well, what's two times the concentration of the OH? Well, it's 0 0.01, isn't it? So it's going to be 0 0.01. That has to be multiplied because we've got two of them. That's going to equal 0 0.02. And that, ladies and gentlemen, is going to have to be squared like that. Okay? So at this point now, we're, this is just now figuring out the rest of it. Excuse me one moment while I get my faithful calculator. Okay? And hey, I'm back! So with this, now we've got that. We just got to plug this in. 0 0.02 times 0 0.02 or 0 0.02 squared. Okay? times 0 0.005 and we have a KSP equaling 2 times 10 to the minus 6. Yeah, that's it. That's all that there is for the pH or the pOH, depending what you need to convert. You have to take the inverse log of the negative pH or pOH, depending what you're looking for, and then you're going to plug it in to the KSP uh, equation. That's it, ladies and gentlemen. I hope that this video has helped you guys out. Uh, until the next time, take care.